What's up guys, Sterling Cooper here. You know, fear holds a lot of people back. And today I'm gonna to give you guys some techniques that you can implement to overcome your fears and make yourself unstoppable. So let's get into it. Now, courage isn't a lack of fear as some people perceive it to be. Courage is actually acting in spite of fear. If you didn't have fear, you would just be basically ignorant to the potential dangers of the situations you're getting yourself into. But courage itself is the ability to act despite having that fear. The, the ability to push past it, push through it, and take right action. So understand that brave people feel fear. Uh, and in fact, they're brave because they feel fear. If they didn't feel that fear, then they would just be, like I said, ignorant to the potential dangers uh, around them or facing them. So what is a key technique for overcoming your fears? Well, one that I use in my life is trying to deliberately fail and giving yourself permission to fail on a small scale when it doesn't really matter. So deliberately putting yourself in a situation where you are going to fail, or you're very likely to fail on a small scale, opens up your mind, it frees your mind, because it shows your mind exactly what it thought it was afraid of in the first place. It shows your mind that, oh, this isn't as scary, this isn't, doesn't have as big of a ramification as I actually thought it would. So let's get into some examples of what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna give you three examples. Women fighting in business of how you can fail, deliberately fail on a small scale to eliminate the fear that might be holding you back in these areas. So, for example, with women, I used to be you know, afraid to approach and talk to beautiful women. I used to have what we would call approach anxiety, right? And one of the things I did to overcome that was I basically went up with a very stupid opener that I knew would deliberately fail. I used to go up to girls and tell them, Hey, I'm Sterling, I have HIV, I'm legally required to tell you this. For a start, that's very funny, and I found it quite amusing, it was intended to myself, but the second thing is, it's I'm going in there with the expectation that I'm going to fail, so it eliminates that fear that I had of, oh, what could, what could go wrong if I screw this up? So, with women, that's one way of sort of going in there and overcoming that fear of approaching a beautiful woman. When it comes to violence and fighting, right? what is a way to sort of overcome your fear of violence? Well, the way to do that is to actually get punched in the face. Getting punched in the face is an extremely good way of overcoming your fear of being punched in the face and overcoming your fear of violence. And how do you do that? Well, one of the ways of doing that is to get in the ring and start boxing, start sparring. Having, you know, sparring with your friends, sparring with your training partners, be it boxing, be it Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, be it Muay Thai, whatever it is, actually getting yourself into a violent situation and realizing that it's not as bad as you thought it would end up being. This, uh, don't get me wrong, you don't want to get knocked unconscious all the time, but it is not as scary. The ramifications aren't as bad as you might have made them out to be in your mind previously. And then in business, well, what's an example of this in business? For me, it was giving myself permission to fail because I always knew, with my, this was my very first startup, it wasn't tremendously successful. So it was, you know, it was a mediocre success, but it didn't really go anywhere. So with my first business, I always took the approach of, well, if I fail, then I'm just learning what not to do the next time I try and start a business, start a, start a uh, startup. You know? And giving yourself permission to fail in that way opens you up to you know, learning, opens you up to new experiences, new insights, and then you can progress and move forward and grow. So I hope you liked that video guys, as always, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.